Good evening, everyone. Hello. Good evening. Hello, Sarlim. Hello, Oscar. Hello, Norma. Hello, Mayra. Jonathan. Hello, Gerardo. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Hello. How are you today? How's it going? How's it going? Just fine? Everything's all right? Are you okay? Yes, thank you. Yeah, all right. So that's that's fantastic. Okay, so because, you know, we have a lot of work to do as always. Uh, welcome to a new uh, class where I have uh, seven people in the class and still waiting for. Actually, it's not eight o'clock yet. So that means that we have some minutes to to wait for a while so that the rest of the participants can gather, okay? Now I was just checking, I was just checking the platform results or the scores in the, in the platform about the homework and about the midterm. And I noticed that there are some people who are still missing some activities, right? And it's important to go in and in, in check it and check if you have um, solved every single activity. Okay, I can see Hector over here. Hello, Hector, good evening, good to see you. Excellent, I can see Norma now, that's better. Hello, Norma, welcome. Hello, teacher. Hello, hello. Okay, yes. so we're we're missing two minutes to so start with the with the with the session. Okay, so let us be patient. Okay. I can see Allison now. Hello, Allison. Good to see you. Wow, Norma is working. <laughs> yes. Okay, Norma. <laughs> You're a very, very busy lady, right? <clears throat> I can see Hector. Hector said, good evening, everyone. <clears throat> okay, Hector, I got it. I got it. All right, so I have like, let me see, Gladys is just getting connected. Well, you have 12 people. No, that's getting better. Okay, now it's eight o'clock. I will go over the list attendance. Okay, if you're over here, let me know it. Okay, because, you know, attendance is uh, extremely important. Okay, we need to know about your progress and about your attendance. Let me see today. What day is today, people, actually? What day is today? Well, <laughs> we're going to we're gonna study something uh, about it uh, tonight, how to say the date in English, because I can see that we still uh, <clears throat> hesitate about how to say the date in English. Now, Adam, hello, Aidan. Alison, Andrea Raquel, I saw Alison. Alison, are you there? I'm here, teacher. Okay, very good. Eh, Camelia, Dina Maribel, Gerardo Emanuel, Gilberto. Hello, Gilberto. Gilberto, are you over here? Gilberto is absent. Gladys. I saw Gladys was just in the class. Gladys, are you there? Hector Salvador, Henry Ernesto, hello, 
Los Henry, Henry is absent, right? Isabel. Present. Okay, Jonathan Josué. Present teacher. All right, Jonathan. Mayra Norabel. Present. All right. Maria. Maria Elba. She's absent. Okay, Maria Elba is absent so far. Eh, Maricela. Marisela hasn't gotten into the class yet, to the class yet. Norma Simara. <coughs> Present teacher. Okay, Norma is over here. Oscar Josue. Oscar Josue, you there? Ronan. Salvador Santiago. Uh, Veralis. Present teacher. Okay, Vidal. Present teacher. And Claudia. Okay, very good. Claudia, are you there? Yeah, Claudia is there. I can see Claudia. Present teacher. Okay, very good. That's fantastic. Claudia is there. Now, have uh, 14 people in the class. I saw Maria over here. Let me see, Maria Elba. Yeah, Maria Elba is over here. Present. Yeah, I can see you here. Okay, now, uh, well, we're going to start, okay, with the activities tonight. And, you know, I have prepared um, many, it's a, a very, a very general review about about the activities we have been. Okay, Claudia, I saw you, your, I saw your message. I have prepared uh, some activities so that we can. Gerardo Beltran is over here. Okay, Gerardo. Uh, are you able to use your 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 microphone, Gerardo? Yeah, I, I I already checked you out here. Okay, don't worry. Well, we're gonna start as soon as possible because we have a lot of work to do. Okay, people. We're gonna go over a very general review. Vamos a irnos a un repaso bastante general. Okay, hoy nos compete bastante trabajar con vocabulario. Por ahí mandé este, un par de videos o un par de enlaces al WhatsApp. El de la conversación lo vamos a trabajar un poquito más adelante y yo les voy a indicar cómo y cuándo, ¿ok? Pero por el momento vamos con la ruta que regularmente seguimos. Nos ha funcionado mucho, la verdad. ¿Ok? So, we're going to start by, by having some review, ¿ok? Remember about the, the, the prepositions of time we started yesterday. Okay, and what are the prepositions of time, people? Prepositions of time, which are them? Prepositions of time. Aha, uh -huh. which are them? On, in, at. In, on, at. Okay, so the review is about it, right? In, on, and at. Now we perfectly identify when to use in, when to use on, and when to use at, right? Yesterday we were working a lot about it, so here we're going to have some review. The review needs to be, uh, I mean, it will be very easy, you know, we have 9 a.m., and what is the preposition we need to use there? At. At. When we talk about time, we need to use at. What do you, how do you read the whole sentence, people? The class is at 9 a.m. 
The class is at night a.m. Yeah. What time is the class? The, what time is the English class for us? It is at 8 p.m. At 8 p.m. Pretty good. Now, in the next one, we have March the 14th. Where is the preposition we need to use? On. On. Okay. So what is the rule? Remember about the rule? When we have specific date, okay, we need to use on. That's the rule, right? So who help me to read the sentence? She left London on March 4th. 4th. Pretty good. Let me see. There's somebody over here. And Gerardo says. Um, uh, all right, Gerardo. All right. Hope you 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 you're able to get concentrated hundred percent. But we're gonna go over a lot of topics at the same time tonight, okay? It's quite important for you to for you to pay special attention. Okay, what about over here? I have my birthday. On. On my birthday. On my birthday. All right. In number four, we have a year. In. In. Who helps? Who helps me to read the whole sentence? Anybody? But maybe you have problems with this. Then you say two thousand and one. Two thousand one. You say two thousand. I got from university in two thousand one. Good. Now we have September. Uh, what is the preposition we need to use with with that uh, month? In. In, in September. Okay. Help me to read the whole sentence, please. She got married on in in September. She, okay, she got married in September. Good. Now let us check. Let's see if we committed some mistakes. Well, actually, the at night, pretty good. Of March, good. On my birthday, good. In 2001, good. In, on, we said on September. No, we, we said in September. This is the correct one, right? In, I don't know why it is in September. In September. But that's correct, right? That's what it, what's telling me, right? That's correct. Good. Siempre es correcto, teacher. Yeah, it is. Actually, that's the one that we need here. En realidad, esta es la correcta. In September. On, no, no es puede que ser yo me, eh, Perdón, teacher. Yo me recuerdo haber leído que cuando eran un mes así, en general, era on. Pero no sé si estoy equivocada. De hecho, sí, porque ayer veíamos que vamos a ocupar in cuando está solo el mes, ¿verdad? Pero vamos a ocupar on cuando tenemos una fecha específica. Ok. So that's the difference, right? Between in and regarding to prepositions of time. All right. Let me see. Alison. Ah, ok, Alison. Very good. Alison provided a chart. Good chart, Alison. Thank you for being so kind. Okay, so that was like the information for the the the, the exercise that the platform presented. What about the topic for tonight? What is the topic for tonight? We're going to 
We're going to practice, okay? We're going to use vocabulary and we're going to practice. What are we going to practice? Well, everything we have been studying lately, right? So we're going to have some review about certain topics. I have a presentation, okay? Actually, I have two presentations that I consider are quite important, okay? Now, first off, we're going to talk a little about the dates, okay? Because I consider it's important to know about it, okay? Days of the week, months of the year, and all the numbers, okay? We're going to go over it a little bit quickly, okay? Because I consider that's important, okay? For example, what date is today, people? Can you see the information? Hello, guys. Can you see the presentation? Yes, no. Hello, can you listen to me, people? I cannot see it. You cannot see? Okay, give me a second, please. Well, now Now, yes. Okay, thank you. So, well, I, uh, as I was telling you, it's important to know about dates. So, uh, and I was asking you, what date is today? What day is today? <clears throat> today is May 23rd. The 23rd. Today is, it's, uh, is it Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday? Wednesday, Monday. Today is Tuesday, May the 23rd, 2023. Okay, very good. Now, we're gonna go over some, some exercises directly, right? So we're gonna be like, like checking. So what's the day today? January? Monday, and we have one on here. So where is the date? Who can tell me about the date? You will see, you will see that <clears throat> You will see that uh, when given the, the date, you are going to be in church of using um, these are our name, ordinal numbers, okay? Ordinal numbers. And when you provide the date, you needed to use them, right? So we're going to see, we're going to check how to say, but tell me, today is, what, what is the date over here? You can start by saying today is Monday, January the 1st. Today is Monday, January the 1st. So we're going to check one way to say it, okay? Look, Monday the 1st of January. That's another, another way to say it. Uh, and something that I want, I want you to notice is about about these two letters, right? Okay, first. These are the ones that you will see when providing the date, okay? Are the ones that appear in the number over here, first, okay? Some people ask, teacher, what, what's the meaning of the DS and the T when you provide the, the date? Well, now you know, right, first. First, okay. Now let's go over the next people. So now we got one, right? So what day is over here? What day is today? What what's a day today? What's a day today? That would be the the, the real question. What's the day today? According to the the calendar you you see in the in the in the slide. 
Today is Sunday, January. January. And the 20th, all right? The 20th. So we're going to see once again, okay? Don't worry. The 20th. Okay, let us check it. Today is Sunday, the 20th. Now look over here. Now once again, the 20th of January. Or today is Sunday, January the 20th. Both ways are okay. Hmm. Now let's continue, please. And let's see what's going on with the next. What What's the day today? Mm -hmm. Today is Wednesday, February. Today, two. Okay, let us know. Okay, let us check over here. Now, today is Tuesday. Now, and look the... over here. We we don't have here. Yeah, we need to add over here in. And D. Same. Why? Because we don't say two, we don't say uh, a different way, but second. All right? That's why we got it over here. Second. Today is Tuesday, the second of February, or today is Tuesday, February, the second. Okay? Okay. Uh, so let us take a look at the next. What day is today? Or what's the day today? Where is the day today? Monday. 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 February. February. The fourteenth. All right, let us check a little. Let us check at it. You see, keep it in mind. Okay, okay. No, I mean, you can say it both ways. Lo pueden decir de dos maneras. Por ejemplo, acá, ahí tienen today is Monday, the 14th of February. Oh, pero también lo pueden decir así. Today is Monday, February, the 14th. Okay. Today is Monday, February, the 14th. Or Today is Monday, the 14th of February. It's the same. Okay. <clears throat> All right. Okay. So let's go over the next. We're practicing, okay? I, and I decided to, <coughs> sorry, to share this information because, uh, well, I want you to be sure when providing the day. Uh, you know, this date is it's, uh, very significant for some people, right? Saint Valentine's Day. <laughs> now, what's the day today? Today is Wednesday, March. 6th. Okay. Now, don't worry if you don't know yet about ordinal numbers. Okay. Third. Third. Aha. Uh -huh. yeah. Now we're going to check it. All right. Okay. Today is Wednesday, uh, March the 3rd. Third. Okay, it's over here, it's over here. Okay. So actually, actually, whenever you see, the no the the ordinal numbers like like no let me see it would be better with this one okay. 
When you see, for example, first, when you see number number one, you're gonna see that you need to include the, the S and the T because the, the, the number is first, first. The other one is second. And the other one is third. All right. Now the rest, the rest, you will in, you need to add th. Okay, th. Fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth. You will. The most of them are uh, written down with th at the end, right? But first, second, and third. Ya, yeah. siempre que vean el, digamos, cuando estén hablando de fechas o que quieran usar los números ordinales, siempre que vean primero, segundo, tercero, son las únicas diferencias, ¿ok? A lo, cuando vean siempre, digamos, 21 avo, por ejemplo, entonces le van a tener que poner así, ¿ven? Así, así. ¿Ok? Si es el primero, ok, solo, solo first, ¿ok? Y así, eh, cuando vean 20, 20, en lugar de decir 22, así 20 second, 23. Pero ya de ahí, con todos los números, solo le van a agregar la TH, porque de ahí todos terminan con TH. Solo las terminaciones con, con esos tres son las variantes. ¿Ok? Pero a la, a la, a la hora de pronunciar fecha, eh, se menciona el TH. Ya. Yeah. Ya, yeah. actually, I share, I share a video. Eh, lo practican en el, en el WhatsApp, ¿ok? Porque de hecho, mañana lo voy a, pre lo voy a preguntar. ¿Ok? Por ahí en el WhatsApp les dejé uno de, de, de pronunciación. ¿Ok? Para que lo practiquen. Ok, now let's continue. Let's check the next one, please. Well, we have 20. We're going to advance quickly. Vamos a avanzar. Ahora que ya vimos como que, que por qué le ponen el ARD, la TH o la ST. Bueno, hoy vamos a avanzar un poquito más rápido. ¿Ok? Tenemos 20 ejercicios y necesitamos sacarlos adelante. ¿Ok? Let's go over the next. So, what's the day today? Today is Tuesday, March 25th. All right, very good. Tuesday, the 25th of March. Good. Next one. What day is today? Or what's the day today? Today is Thursday, April 12th. Good. Let's go to the next. Today is Friday, my fifth. Okay, the fifth. Okay, Friday, the fifth of May. Fifth. Next one. <laughs> what day is today? What's the day today? Today is Sunday. Thursday, okay, Sunday, May the 30th. Yes. Sunday, the 30th of May, it's all right. Yes. What's the day today? Friday, okay. July 4th. Friday, July the 4th, or Friday the 4th of July, good. Hey, actually, that is a, the Independence Day in the United States, right? You know, <laughs> there are special dates. Now, what's the day today? Saturday, June the 6th. Good. Saturday, the 6th of June. Good. What's the day today? Sunday, June 30th. Sunday, June the 13th. Good. <clears throat> Sunday, 
exactly, uh, Alison. That's the, that's the way it is, right? <laughs> okay, let's go over the next. What's the date today? <clears throat> Today is Wednesday, 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 July 7th. All right. Wednesday, <laughs> the 7th of July. Good. What day is today? Or what's the date today? Today is Monday, August 8th. Monday, August 8th. Good. Monday, the 8th of August. It's the same, right? <laughs> What's the day today? Thursday, the 9th, September. Today, Thursday, September the 9th. The next one? We're almost done. We're missing only four. What's the day today? What's the day today? Friday of 10 of October. Okay, Friday, October 10th or the 10th of October. Friday, the 10th of October, okay? Next one, what's the day today? <laughs> This is 30, 30. Saturday, Saturday uh, 31 no. of October. No, it's not 31. 31st. <laughs> yeah, 31st. okay, so it's Saturday, um, October the 31st. Uh, 31st. Yeah, 31st. Look, Saturday the 31st of October, 30. First. What's the day today? Saturday number 11th. Yeah. Saturday, November the 11th. Good. Right. And we're almost done. We're missing only two slides. And we will be done with the date. <laughs> What's the date today? Wednesday, December 25th. Wednesday, December the 25th. Or Wednesday, 25th of December. The 25th of December. Good. And the last one, what day is today? Or what's the day today? Friday, December 31st. Good. Now, any question about it? Any question about it? No questions. No questions. Good. <clears throat> so quite simple, right? So I think the only the only um thing we need to a practice is about adding the numbers, okay? Uh, that's why I, I decided to share a link so that you can practice about pronunciation. Well, tomorrow I will check uh, about the way you are pronouncing the, the, the ordinal numbers. And if I need to correct something, I will let you know tomorrow. It is first, second, third, fourth, and so on, right? Now, well, we're gonna go over the the um, the practice itself, the vocabulary practice and the grammar practice, um, so that we can uh, take advantage of time. <clears throat> so help me with uh, the presentation, okay? So uh, we're gonna go over it uh, fully. Because, well, you may say, teacher, but we have already studied about it. Yeah, but I have told you, right? I really like to go back. 
in the topics, okay? Remember, this is basic English module one. And we are still working about unit three. And we also are working with prepositions of time, right? I want you to remember that the, the information questions or the double H questions are those that are used to request information that has not been previously mentioned. Differently from just no questions, double H questions always contains, contain a supposition. They always begin with double H word, what, where, when, why, which, how, who, which, whom, who examples, right? Then <clears throat> remember that what is used to talk about things. What's your name? Uh, what are you doing? Uh, what's, uh, what's, what's this? Okay, etc. Who about people? Who is he? Who is she? Where? Where do you work? When? When is the party? Who's? Who's? Uh, whose pencil is this one? Why? Why do you study English, for example? That would be a good question, right? Which is when you use, like, you have two choices, right? Uh, which which color do you prefer, red or, or pink? Whom, as a subject, right? To whom do you, do you trust? How is about money, right? How do you do that? Oh, uh, how, how many, how much? We have some examples. This info we have, we have to study this info in the past, right? Remember, this is the order. Double H word to be subject and complement. Example, where are they from? Oh, they are from Spain. They are from El Salvador. They are from, you name it, right? What is your name, lady? Hey, lady, what's your name? Well, you answer, right? And my name is. And you, you complete it. Simple present information questions such as double H word, but this is in the third person, right? Third person. This is with the verb to be. This is something that uh, that I want you to be clear about, right? So we have double H question words with the verb to be, okay? But we also have C uh, double H question words with simple present, okay? This is simple press. Okay, so th that's what you need to be clear about, right? You cannot say, for example, why does he is? Now, that's impossible, right? Because you are mixing tenses, okay? So this is the verb to be, and this is the uh, simple press. You need to be clear about it. For example, what does he do on vacation? When do you play football? Okay, now, Later, <clears throat> sorry. Information, we continue with the information questions, okay, with the verb to be. So for example, but this is this is a second person singular, right? Where are the previous one is, was about third person singular, but this is about second person singular or plural or third person plural. First, second, or third person plural. When is your birthday? Okay. When is your birthday, Paul? This is the person singular, right? Paul. Now, remember that's important when you, well, this, I have noticed that uh, we need to go over this, right? We need to go over singular nouns and plural nouns, okay? So you say, teacher is one teacher. Como dicen dos, dos maestros? Uh, to teach uh, teachers. Si, si, si ustedes dicen un maestro en inglés, ¿cómo lo dicen? <coughs> teacher. A teacher, right? A teacher. Yeah, a teacher. Como dicen dos maestros. A ah, or one teacher. But over here it's a, a teacher. Now, uh, how do you say dos maestros then? Two teachers. Excellent. And I want you to make emphasis that when it's plural, you need to, to make emphasis when pronouncing it. Okay? Because yeah. that, that's grammar. I mean, that's that's important. It's, it's quite simple, but, sim but it's very important. Look, one student, two students, 
important to mention it. What's their last name? What were their last names? Where's your book? Where are your pencils? How old is your brother? How old are your children? Okay. <laughs> there are some irregular product forms that we're gonna go over it later, okay, but not today. Okay. There are different different ways to say certain names, uh, okay. In plural form, those are irregular pluralization of nouns. Okay. Now, use the word to write information questions. Use the form of the verb to be. Okay, and I will type it on here so that you, you don't get, you you remember about it. The verb to be is about um, <laughs> is, or are. <clears throat> Begin each question with a capital letter and finish it with a question mark. Where are your friends' names? Uh, the verb to be is over here, right? So where's the second one, please? Tell me the second one, people. Tell me the second one, please. Uh, from where teacher yeah. you are? Where? <clears throat> now, teacher, now I say this is where because. Huh? Where are you from? Now, now pay attention. Remember, we're using the verb to be, right? So mm -hmm. we have. A third person, uh, where is it? I remember about it. You, uh, he, way. she. Uh -huh. <clears throat> where is? Where is your teacher? Where is your teacher? That's it. <clears throat> Yes. And this word, where's the teacher from? Hey, you. Uh -huh. And remember, it's a question, yeah. right? So you need to you need to keep in mind that, okay? Where's your teacher from? Well, my teacher is from from El Salvador. Okay. Now number three. What's the question, people? In the number three. Telephone number. What New Year? What is? What is? Remember that we can contract it also, right? What? Or what is? <clears throat> your, your telephone number. Okay, and that's it, right? In the question mark. Hey, what's your, I oh, no, but it says, yes. what's your new? What's your new? Uh, uh, oh. Hey, what's your new telephone number? Good. And the last one, all his, is it all his how sister? <laughs> <clears throat> Can anybody help me with this? Hi. The last one, number four. Do you see number four? No, no, you don't see it? No? No, it's the Ah, okay. So the other one is, it's like this. Old. His. How. Sister. Okay. <clears throat> oh, oh. Okay, very good. How? 
old? How old? <clears throat> How old? His sister. Is? Sister. Your sister. How old is your sister? Hey, how old is your sister? Now, how, how do you answer the question? Okay, Camelia, okay, Camelia, give me one second. Okay, Camelia. Now, how old is your sister? She's 15, she's 20, she, well, it all depends, right? Okay, Camelia, I hope that uh, everything's all right and I hope to see you tomorrow. <clears throat> okay, now let's go over the next part. Now, number five, <clears throat> city she what from? What is your from city. We have she, right? Yeah, you say yeah. what? She is what? <clears throat> what? Is, is she? We're going to say this. What city? <clears throat> What is uh, what city is, is? Uh, she from? Uh, what city is she from? Good. And a question mark. What city is she from? Well, is she from Santa Ana, is she from San Salvador, etc. Uh, your occupations neighbors what? <clears throat> All right. Can somebody help me with this? But you know, you <clears throat> sorry, you know that you need to start with a double H question, right? And look, this is singular or plural people. Plural. It's plural, right? Now let me see. So, so if it is plural, yeah. where is the, the where is the verb to be formed that we need to use over here? <clears throat> what you say? What? Uh, All right. R. What? You. Your. your occupation. What are your occupations? My occupation. Or my neighbor's occupations. Neighbor, your All right, neighbor so What are your neighbors? So what are your neighbor's occupations? Good. Number seven. Sisters hold Hector's how? Oh, oh. Uh, How old? R. R, very good. Hector's. Hector's, good. Fantastic. Now you got it, right? Hector's. 
sisters. How old are Hector's Hector's sisters? Mm -hmm. Good. And number eight. Do you see number eight people? Where are you from? Where are you said R, right? <clears throat> Where are who? The new students. All right, the new students. The new students. The new students from. Good. So if you have any questions, just try to ask. Si tienen preguntas, vayan, vayan haciendo, la vayan aclarando dudas, por favor. So, what city is, okay, there's a mistake, you see? Aquí, aquí hay un error en la primera, miren, no le puse el she. What city is she from? No, yes, that's correct. What city is she from? Good. Esta está mal. All right, any question? No questions. No questions? No. Okay. Now, next part. Now, over here, this is a this is a conversation. We're gonna go over it as, as quickly as possible because we have done something like this before. Who is she? Over there, or she's new. What's missing over here? What is missing over here? Who is she? When we need to complete the conversation when possible, right? Who is she? Over there. Oh, she's new. What? Her name? What? Huh? What? Yeah, what? what's, right? Is her name. Yeah, what is or what's her name? Rebecca Flores. Now, look at the next. Your new colleagues, they 40 years old. Oh, oh. Oh. How? How, how old? How, how old? How old? R. 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 Uh, how are? Yeah. How old are your new colleagues? Yeah. Now, they're 40 years old. They from? Where? 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 Are. <clears throat> are. Are. Good. Where are they from? Yes, they're from Santa Ana. Your email address? Is todo loco for gmail.com. What? what is? Okay, what? what is or what's? What is or what's? Remember, you can contract it. Where is your email address? It's todo loco for gmail.com. Thanks. And your occupation? What is? And what's your occupation? And what's your occupation? Me, I'm a doctor. Your sister's names? What is? What is or what are? 
All right, so it's what are because we have plural, right? What are your sister's names? Annie and Lisa. Pretty good. So we are done with this exercise. Excellent. Okay, remember, information questions, okay, such as what do I do, what do you do, you need to provide a reason, right? I supervise, where do you work? I work in an accounting department, you say the department, right? Or you, you can also name the enterprise, you work. When do we go, when do we go to meetings? We go to meetings three to two or three times a week. How do they plan the marketing? They investigate it. How they investigate the customer needs. What time do you take breakfast? I take it at 8 a.m. So examples of questions that we already know, right? Then simple present information questions, remember the other. So I'm I'm getting back to it because I, I want you to remember about the order. When do you play football? We have double H word. We have the auxiliary do or does, right? Depending on the subject. Then we have a verb and then we have a complement. Okay, so as you can see over here, we have it with the third person singular. What does she do? Where does, she, where does it go? Which department does our boss supervise? What time does Miguel start to work? Okay, so in every single question has an answer. And notice about well, this is important, right? I will, I will repeat the explanation because I consider it's important, okay? The person singular and look at the verb, okay? The person singular, he, in the first one was, she, over here we have he, and you answer, by using third person singular. Which department does our boss supervise? Which department? This is the third person, right? Does. And our boss, over here is the, super, our boss is the third person, sorry. It's not the super, the department, but it is our boss. This is the third person. Our boss supervises the marketing department. What time does Miguel, the person singular, Miguel starts, right? That's for you to remember, people. Then we have some other exercises. Uh, well, we have this, right? That's that's the, the other part of the, uh, for the information related to double H questions. You have, in the, but when using third person singular, right? He, she, it, then you need to use a double H a word, auxiliary does, and the subject that we already know, maybe he, she, or it. It may be Carlos, Carla, or it may be my pets, or my computer, or whatever, right? Then the verb in the base form and then the complement. What does he do on vacation? Okay, what do you need? A blue time. What does she want? New bags. Okay, now we'll ask the question then you answer by using third person singular. Voy a hacer la pregunta y ustedes me contestan eh, utilizando la tercera, bueno, dependiendo, dependiendo la pregunta, si es primera persona o tercera persona. So what do you need? Oración completa, ¿cómo sería? I need a blue tie. I need a blue tie. What does she want? She wants new bags. She wants bags, new bags. Good. Now, next one. Why do they want that suit? Mm -hmm. 
Over here it's like that, right? Because the suit is new or because it's new. Over here it's all right. Now, why does she like this tie? She likes this tie because it's great. She likes this tie because it's great. Let's see the next one. Now, what color do you want? 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 I want black. What size does she does he need? What size does he need? He needs extra large. He needs extra large. Good. Which sweater do you want? Which sweater do you want? I want, I want the green one. Which shoes does she like? She likes, yeah, she likes the black ones. Yeah, let me see, let me see, let me see. Yeah, I'm sober there, right? Sober. So any question? Remember we are practicing, we are having a pew practice and some review, right? Practice and review, review and some practice. So there are some questions over here and we need to create them by using the, the cues we have here, example. What do you like? What do you like? What your daughter's friends need? What is the question in the number two? What do? Excellent, very good. Now, excellent. I really like that, right? So it's like, hey, what do, right? So what now now we are practicing the auxiliaries, right? What do your daughter's friends need? Good, good, excellent. What do your daughter's friends need? Perfect. What do your daughter's friends, friends, right? It's plural. Need? Great. What about number three? What's that? Excellent. No, yes, right? So what does... What does Martin want? Martin want. Good. Number four. What we have? What do we do? What do we do? Excellent. What do we have? What do we have? And the last one? Um, 
What color? Color shoes. Do you need for work? What color? Do you need? What color of shoes do you need at work? Good. Fantastic. Pretty good. Now here, you can see we have been practicing. We have been practicing uh, auxiliaries, right? Do or does. Over here, uh, wait a minute. Now, uh, uh, do you think it's all right, this one? ¿Creen que está bien este? Sí, es do. Yes, it is. It's plural, right? Very good. What about this one? Does Martin? Está bien? Yes. Third person singular. What about this one? Está bien con we? Plural, right? So... What color of shoes? Plural. And I uh, know, I mean, second person singular. That's all right. So we have done a great job. Hemos trabajado muy bien. Any, any question? No. No. Pretty good. Now I think we are almost done with it. Why? Okay, now this is, let us do it uh, orally. Vamos a trabajarlo solo de manera oral, okay? So, number six, what color shirt he like? Um, what? what color shirt? What color of shirts? Remember, we have we have it over here, right? Uh huh. Do or does? Does. What color but shirt does he like? Number seven. Now pay attention here because over here you have your son. And do they say what size of jacket yeah. does or do? Uh, bit, but you need to be careful yeah, because that's, yeah, that's right. Because we're talking about about the son of the lady, right? Yeah. Of, of the guy. Yeah, does what size of jacket does your son need? Very good. Number eight. Why does he like to lose clothes at home? Very good. Number nine, your parents. What do? What do your parents want to? What, why do your parents want a new car? Perfect. In which we have clear, right? Which dress does clear line? Perfect. Okay. So. We're almost done with the, with the activities. Okay. Now here we have, we continue with the topic, right? So there are some, some other, um, some other exercises, but I need to go over them quickly. Okay, that's why we're gonna, well, over here, we're gonna work on it, but very quickly, people. Okay, in a very quick way. Do me the favor to complete. We need to complete the questions. Wow. 
the 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 key over here is the answer. He he's a doctor. We need to use double H questions. What, when, where, why, etc. Huh? What is what? Uh -huh. What is? What is? You. Now, how do you say a qué te a qué se dedica tu tío in English? What is your uncle's profession? Okay. What is your uncle's? But over here you we don't have the apostrophe and the possessive. So we need to use the other way. Well, that, that will be one, right? What is your uncle's profession? Or what is your uncle's occupation? Well, he's a, he's a doctor. But there is a there is another way, and that is very common. I will help you. What does? Uh, uh -huh. So complete it, please. What does? Is no profession. Uh, one day somebody told me, hey, teacher, why do we use uh, does? Uh, or why, why do we use do two times in the same sentence? No se acuerdan que alguien me preguntó, teacher, ¿por qué ocupamos dos veces el do en una oración? Y yo le expliqué en su momento. What does your uncle? All right, so what, what, what is the missing word over here? ¿Cuál es la, la palabra que hace falta ahí o el verbo? Do. Do. Okay, what does your uncle do? He said doctor. Number two, your friends, they live in Usulutan. Where? Where? Where do you where do your friends from? No, no, what is the verb? You need to you need to you need to take into consideration the verb. Live. Okay, where do your where do your friends live? Where do your friends live? They live in the Sulu town. Your parents, I visit them every weekend. I visit them every weekend. Oh, here is, is the key. Every weekend. When? Uh, but there is another question. Maybe you don't remember about that question. It starts with how? 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 No, no. no. you don't remember about this? Yeah. How? Oh. Remember when we started about frequency adverse? Visit. Yeah, but how often, how often, how often what? How often? What's missing there? ¿Qué le falta todavía a, la, a, la, a, la, a esa parte? Recuérdense, siempre tengo que tener auxiliar. Y aquí tenemos your parents. ¿Es do o or, or es that? that? Do or does? Do. Uh, do. How often do? Uh -huh. 
How often do your parents what? No, but where is the verb? ¿Cuál es el verbo? El verbo es visit. How often do visit. you visit, right? How often do you visit your parents? ¿Cuán a menudo visitas a tus padres? Okay. I visit them every weekend. Number four, your sister. She lives in Cuscatlan Avenue. Avenue. Where? Uh, where? You say where, right? Uh, where. where does, very good. Mm -hmm. Where does your sister? Live. Okay, pronunciation, live. Live. Yeah, remember about it. Where does your sister live? Uh, she lives in Cuscatlan Avenue. Number five, your brother, quit. Get the... Where? Where? No, but listen, the, the answer says, he lives with my grandmother. It's about a person. What is the double H question with a person? Mm. Who? Who, all right, who? Then you have your brother. What is the auxiliary we need? Say, do or does? Mm. No, but, but I'm talking only ab about what? Yeah, one person. Who does? Your brother? Live. Live with. Who does your brother live with? Good. Who does your brother live with? He lives with my grandmother. Good. Any question about this exercise? No. No questions? Everything is clear? Is everything clear? Remember that you are going to be in charge of working about something tonight. Okay? Ya lo van a poner en práctica. Ya este un contexto diferente. No more questions? No questions, actually? Okay. Now. Remember the expression with what time? What time is it? You say it's A after one or eight past one. What time does the meeting start? It starts at 11 o'clock. What time do you arrive at work? I arrive at work at about uh, 12 to seven, okay, a.m. What time do employees leave? They usually leave around seven o'clock or half past seven. What time? So remember about this. So we're almost done, right? So as you can see, I have I have uh, tried to go over uh, all the topics that we have been studying lately. So what time is it over here? What time is it? It's one o'clock. It's one o'clock. What time is it over here? It's one. Okay, it's one o five. Now, but we learned a different one, right? This is one. It's one o five. It's five after one. And como decimos la que nos aprendimos nosotros? It's five past. One. Exactly. Okay. So as you can see, different ways to say to say the time. Hay diferentes maneras de decir el tiempo. Okay. Es lo que estamos viendo ahorita. Now, what time is it? Uh huh. One fifteen. One fifteen. Or 
It's a quarter after one. It's a quarter after one. Or? Uh, it's past. Okay, 15 minutes past one. Very good. What time is it in the in this one? One thirty. One thirty. One thirty. Or uh, it's half past one. <laughs> half past one. Very good. Now, what time is it in this picture? Uh, it's one forty. It's one forty. Or. It's 20 to 2. It's all right, right? 20 to 2. I, I, uh, we cannot say it in a different way. Now, what time is it in this one? It's 145. It's 145 or? It's a quarter to 2. It's a quarter to 2. Fantastic. Now, keep it in mind because that's important, right? So, as you can see, today we have been practicing a lot. Okay, what time is it in the number two, people? Now here, do the favor to type it. What time? No, it's better if we say it orally because you know time is running. Okay, what time is it in the number two? Four o'clock. It's four o'clock. Four o'clock. What time is it in the number three? It's four past nine. It's a quarter past nine or it's nine fifteen. Nine fifteen. Number four. It's eight o'clock. It's eight o'clock. Number five. It's quarter to ten. Uh, 15 to you to 10 15 to 10 or 15 to 11 and 12 yeah 15 to 11 or is 10 45 number six It's three thirty or uh, it a uh, whole past three half past three number seven it's six o'clock at six o'clock number eight is well or it's no it's 12 o'clock or it's it's noon. All right. Good. Perfect. Perfect people. Okay. Now tell me, what is the best option over here? So you got the correct answer. The movie is at 8, Wednesday the evening. What is the best option? 8, Wednesday or the evening? Wednesday. So remember, over here we're using at. At. Yeah. When do we use at? In, in A. Ah, so the movie yeah. is at? La copy. Eight. Eight. Very good. The movie is at eight. Number two. The meeting is on? Mm -hmm. On? You have Tuesday, January, or noon. Um, we say on uh, Tuesday, we say on January, or we say on noon? Uh, on the evening? Oh, perdón. Uh, oh. And on oh, noon. The meeting is on... 
Tuesday, oh, January, January or no? Huh? On January. Oh, they say on January, but we need a we need a specific date if we say on January. It's on January 14, for example. Uh -huh. ¿Qué ocupamos con todos los días de la semana? In, on, or at? Help me, please. Con los días de la semana, ¿cuál ocupamos? In, on, or at? On. On, right? Mm -hmm. So, on Tuesday. It's on uh -huh. Tuesday. Uh -huh. Yeah. The game is in Thursday, in uh, the morning or nine. In. In the morning. In the morning. Good. In the morning. Good. The train is at at the afternoon, the morning, two thirty-seven. Two thirty-seven. Okay. Two. 37, good. The class is at night, Friday the, the 10th. At night. At night. Said night, right? Good. Yes, night. The party is on noon, July, or July the 3rd? July the 3rd. Okay, now yes, right on July the 3rd. Then, the dinner is on Friday, March, or 30, uh, uh, 7.30. It's on Friday, right? It's on Friday. Her birthday is on November the 1st, November or December? November the 1st. November the 1st, good. And the last one, the party is in October the 1st, October or night? October. In, in October, right? Good, because we don't have a specific date. Perfect. Pretty good. We're almost done with it. Okay. We're almost done with it. Okay, well... Because of the time, we stop over here, okay? But that's the last one, right? So just help me with this. What is the, what is the proposition we need over here? Friday? What is the proposition we need? Friday? On. on. Very good. 9 p.m.? Very good. August? Ah, but we have August. Okay. In. In. Oh. On the ninth, the nineteenth. Okay. Uh, Saturday. Uh, On Saturday. Uh, seven. At seven. Good. Noon. Uh, at at noon. Uh, Wednesday. On. On Wednesday. Very good. Now I think it's in, it's been enough. Okay. Ahora sí ya me siento mejor que hicimos un buen repaso. Now what are we gonna do now? ¿Qué es lo que vamos a hacer? Pues veamos. En el en el grupo de WhatsApp. Tenemos una conversación, ¿ok? Necesito que la copien. Les iba a pedir que la, que la hicieran esa noche, pero pues la verdad no creo que nos alcance el tiempo, ya son casi las, las nueve y media. Entonces necesito que la copien, ¿ok? En algún lado. Y que se preparen con ambos roles para mañana, ¿de acuerdo? El día de mañana yo voy a elegir a un chico o a una chica, ¿ok? Pero eso no quiere decir que, que los roles van a ser así, sino que en, en la conversación aparece un chico y una chica. Pero yo puedo decir que mañana puedo que él solicite a una chica que diga lo que el chico en el video eh, aparece diciendo, ¿ok? Por eso se tiene que preparar con ambas partes. 
Ok, le voy a dar que unos siete minutos para que la copien. Eh, la conversación dura dos minutos, pero yo sé que lo tienen que ir pausando, ok, para copiarlo. Ok, van a contar ahorita con siete minutos, ¿de acuerdo? Seven minutes. De ahí solo voy a pedir a dos personas que me lo lean, ¿cómo les ha quedado? Ok, two minutes, I mean seven minutes, siete minu minutos a partir de este momento. Okay, remember the conversation is in the WhatsApp group. En el grupo de WhatsApp está el enlace.
Okay, do you finish, people? Okay, hello. How's service in there? Do you finish? Gilberto, do you finish? Alison, are you still working in the video? Hello, people, are you there? Hello, hello. Can you listen to me, people? No. Are you happy? Have, you need, how much no. time do you need? ¿Cuánto tiempo necesitan? ¿Unos tres minutos más? ¿Cinco? Sí. Yes. Ok, five minutes. Five minutes. Recuérdense, después solo lo van a leer algunos de ustedes. Ok, fíjense bien en la pronunciación en la naturalidad con la que ellos están hablando, entonces mira que lo pasan bien con la, con la plática, entonces pues algo así vamos a tratar de hacer nosotros, ¿ok?
Okay, time's over. Hope you, you have finished. Okay, so I just need to check some of some per participants, right? Uh, well, I want to listen to to um. Let me see. Okay, it needs two two volunteers. I think it's better if I ask for volunteers. Volunteers with conversations with the conversations. Me, teacher. Excellent, Maribel. Thank you. So, Maribel, and I need a, a boy. So I need another person, not exactly a boy. It may, it may be a, a, another girl. So, but I need another volunteer. Okay, Maria, right? Maria and Maribel. <laughs> okay, so Mary and Maribel, we want to listen to you now. Uh, Maribel, you start. Okay. Jurley. What time is it? Two minutes after six. Okay, I am not playing. Two minutes is not play. Yes, is it? And oh look, it's fine to sit. I am early. Oh look. Solo que ahí creo que sí usted todavía. No. So for you, by you. It's fine to sit. I am early. I am early. Se iría usted en for you, birthday, on Saturday. And then there's a great friends movie at the Avalon. There's a ball ball game on Saturday night. My mm, or this is a play at the early center at 8 p.m. like it's the a dream. The tiger are playing in Jan's. Bueno, siguen al baseball. Ah, yo digo, oh, look, there is a Mozart concert on Saturday. Would you like to go? One time. Mm, how past seven? Table guns and seven. Oh, wow, there is a call by the one of Ellen Lee. A university aunt? When I left Sparta on Saturday night, it's your birthday on Saturday. No, it's your birthday. And what do you, uh, what do you like to go to a baseball game for your birthday? As baseball game. And that sounds great. Okay, thank you. <laughs> okay. That's your birthday. <laughs> okay. What about a baseball game? En algunos pedazos se echa de como que está en aire. Ah, yeah. Okay. So you need to keep, no, you, you, need, you, need to, you need to pay special attention, right? Um, well, anyways, you're gonna, you're gonna uh, practice it uh, during uh, tomorrow, and, and then maybe if you have if you want, you can continue practicing tonight. Okay, okay, so mañana, pues en realidad, vamos, vamos a tratar ese, ese video dura dos minutos, verdad? Vamos a tratar cuando yo diga, por ejemplo, Gilberto en Mayra. La conversación debe durar dos minutos, o sea, tenemos que tratar de, 
de seguir de alguna manera el ritmo que ellos o la naturalidad con la que ellos hablan, ¿verdad? Este, vamos a tratar, o sea, es bien difícil que logremos cabal eso, ese tiempo, puede ser más o puede ser menos, pero la cosa es que practiquemos. Uh, voy a pasar lista, mañana primero, ah, les recuerdo que nuestras clases llegan hasta la otra semana, si mal no recuerdo, hasta el día martes 30. Voy a revisar bien si es martes 30 o miércoles que terminamos hoy. Pero, gracias a Dios, tenemos un par de guitas más por ahí. Um, voy a pasar lista. Por segunda ocasión. Adán. Aidan. Allison. I'm here, teacher. Good. Andrea Raquel. Present. Good. Camelia. A Camelia dijo que te, tuvo alguna dificultad. Dina Maribel. Present. Good. Dina. Gerardo. Gilberto. Present. Good. Gladys. Present. Good. Héctor Salvador. Henry Ernesto. Sarlim. Present. Mayra Norabel. Present. Mayra. María Elba. Present. Marisela. Present. Miguel Ángel. Norma Xiomara. Present teacher. Es Norma. Oscar Josué. Ronan. Present teacher. Salvador Santiago. Vera Liz. Present teacher. Vidal. Present teacher. Ok, en Claudia. Claudia Verónica. Present teacher. Okay, that's fantastic. I really love this group. Ok. Now, let us try to make some observations about what's happening. Ok. Okay, uh, let me see. Gerardo is over here. Aidan is over here. Okay. Camelia has some problems. Okay. Good. Now, the time is almost over, but I would really like to, to let you know about what's coming uh, soon. Um, a partir de mañana, vamos a empezar a trabajar con preposiciones de lugar. Okay, ya vimos las preposiciones de tiempo. Vamos a ver cuáles son las preposiciones de lugar, cómo las podemos trabajar. Se vienen temas como there is, there are. Ok, Adán, gracias por notificar. Lo tomaré en cuenta. Esperemos que ya para mañana ya haya solventado algún problema técnico que esté enfrentando esta noche. Este... Vamos a empezar a, a trabajar con este, there is and there are, eh, qué hay en una ciudad. Eh, por ahí vamos a crear este, alguna presentación en, en grupos de tres. Eh, pero por ahí vamos a ir, vamos a ir viendo pues, eh, los temas que nos toca abordar. De hecho, hasta la fecha han hecho un excelente trabajo. Yo sé que todavía, pues hoy, hoy tuvimos un, un, um, una práctica bastante generalizada y un, un refuerzo bastante generalizado. Y si ustedes se fijaron, pues íbamos un poquito apresuraditos porque es algo que hemos venido estudiando. Hice las pausas necesarias para que si alguien tenía duda o yo notaba que se estaban equivocando en algo... Eh, como hacer la aclaración, ¿verdad?, del por qué. 
Pero si se fijan, son, son prácticamente los temas que hemos estado estudiando en estos últimos días. Ya se los he dicho yo, me gusta regresar y ver si todo está bien respecto a lo que hemos estudiado. Si, pues, si hay algo que, en que detenerse, me detengo y de ahí avanzamos y así. ¿Okay? Tienen pendiente tarea, ¿verdad? Tienen pendiente la tarea de, es como un pequeño proyectito en donde ustedes nos van a enseñar lo que han aprendido eh, durante el curso de inglés. ¿Ok? Eso es, es, prepárense, pues, porque si acaso no tuviésemos el espacio este, entre jueves y viernes, pues todavía tenemos lunes y martes de la otra semana, que de seguro lo vamos a pasar súper. Yo, pues, espero ver es, esos avances bien marcados en, en lo que ustedes nos van a presentar, ¿ok? Sean muy creativos, disfrútenlo. Hay algo que yo he aprendido y es, yo ya les he dicho que yo soy un aprendiz lento, pero el hecho que aprenda lento no quiere decir que yo no disfruto en el proceso. Y al contrario, aprenda lento, rápido, no tan rápido, eh, lo importante es disfrutar. ¿Ok? Si nosotros disfrutamos y mantenemos la motivación eh, alta, y positiva, las cosas se van a ir dando, ok. Uh, hoy, por ejemplo, noté que, pues, que, que, que nos hizo falta, quizás como grupo, de manera general, este, ser, más, ser más activos en nuestra, nuestra participación, ok. Que no nos dé como tanto miedo de, de, de decir, si, decir algo, si me equivoco, pues lo único que yo estoy haciendo es escucharlo y digo, en mi mente yo digo, bueno, pues creo que debo detenerme aquí. Vamos a hacer como unas aclaraciones. O si yo veo que todo está funcionando bien, si ustedes se fijaron cuando entramos en la parte de, de los ejercicios de in, on, at, cuando yo vi que ya pss, los ejercicios se iban de corrido, dije yo, ah, bueno, esto ya, ya ha sido suficiente con las preposiciones de tiempo. ¿Verdad? De hecho, culminamos con una conversación en donde se, se habla acerca del tiempo y de algunas cosas por ahí donde se utilizan las preposiciones. Entonces, por eso la tarea de mañana es que estudien esa conversación, porque lo primero que vamos a hacer es este, pedirle a unas tres parejas que nos lo, que nos lo, lo reproduzcan, ¿verdad? Que lo, que lo hagan pues acá en el grupo, que lo, que lo presente. Pronunciación y este, fluidez es lo que andamos buscando ahorita en este ejercicio. Uh, algunas veces, pues, lograr este, esa fluidez, no, la verdad que no es sencillo, ¿okay? no es sencillo lograr la fluidez necesaria, sino que a pura base de práctica, y por eso siempre les digo, uh, sean siempre valientes a, a, a levantar su manita y participar, porque mientras más practiquen, más rápido van a, a lograr los, los objetivos que ustedes y nosotros andamos buscando. Nosotros andamos buscando un buen nivel de inglés, ¿verdad? Imagínense, ahorita estamos con, con básico y hemos abordado muchos temas y, y wow, les he asignado muchas tareas. De hecho, casi, casi que no hay noche que no les deje tarea. Y ustedes siempre responden. Y eso me agrada mucho. Entonces, mañana continuamos con eso. No sé si hay alguien que quiera participar, comentar algo. Si no... Ah, otra cosa. Recuérdense que la, la cámara, eso que ha grabado, eh, chicos, y este... Recuerden que es necesario que activemos la cámara. ¿okay? Yo, por ejemplo, ahorita veo 20, 20 nombres y 20, y, y bueno, ya algunos solo tienen la fotografía. Y es bueno, ya se los he dicho, que interactuemos. A menos que tengan algún problema de conexión, ¿verdad? que la cámara le falló o su internet está, está fallando y eso genera que, se, que, que la sesión tenga algún tipo de problema, entonces solo me dice, ahí en el chat, y tengo dificultades, por eso voy a tener mi cámara apagada, pero por lo general, siempre hay que tenerla activada. Por ejemplo, Vidal nos coloca ahí, Ticho, yo no tengo cámara en mi PC. Ok, 
si no, si no tiene, pues no hay problema. Ok, otra opción que, que, pueden, que pueden tomar para que si ustedes pues lo toman a bien es, es a recibir la sesión en un celular. El celular sí no, no da problemas con la cámara, ¿verdad? Es otra opción que podemos buscar. Pero sí a mí me encantaría eh, que en su momento pues todos estemos con nuestras cámaras activadas. Dicho esto... No sé si hay alguien que quiera contribuir, opinar, participar. Y si no, nos vemos mañana. Good night. Good night. Good night. Okay, good night, good night. everybody. Good night. good night. See you tomorrow. Good night, teacher. Good night, teacher. Good night, teacher. Bye.